This is the 12th video in our series looking at how to complete a basic setup and configuration of a Sonology Network Attached Storage Device, or as they're more commonly referred to, a NAS. In our previous video, we set the group permissions on our Sonology NAS to allow our users to have access to the network shares that we created. In this video, we're going to test that we can access our shared folders by reviewing how to connect to an SMB network share from an Apple Macintosh computer that is running macOS. Within macOS, there are a couple of different methods that you can use to access a network share. However, because one method is more reliable but less intuitive than the other, we will show you both. As you can see here, we are currently viewing the macOS desktop. And because the desktop is the active application, Finder is displayed in the menu bar. If from within the Finder menu we select Go, Connect to Server, a Connect to Server window will open and we're asked for a server address. First, we need to inform the computer of which network share protocol we wish to use. As our NAS was set up to use SMB, we will first need to type SMB, then a colon. Next, we need to type forward slash forward slash and the IP address of our NAS. As we've already in a previous video set up our NAS to use a static IP address, identifying and entering the IP address of our NAS is now a lot easier. When we select connect, we're asked to enter the username and password of a registered user who has permissions to access our network shares. After we've entered a registered user's details, you can see that we have an option that allows this computer to remember the user's password. By enabling this option, the computer will no longer display this window and will instead automatically connect to our network shares. As we only wish to test that the network shares we've created actually work, we will not be ticking this option. Let's select Connect. As we have created multiple network shares on our NAS, we are now asked which network shares we wish to mount. In computer jargon, the word mount refers to when an operating system accesses any kind of storage. Let's try and open the public folder, which should be accessible to all users of our home network. A finder window will now open, displaying the contents of the public folder. If we look at the finder sidebar, you can see that under shared grouping, our Synology NAS is being displayed, but is being named by its IP address. To the right of the IP address, we have a small eject button. This will allow us to dismount from our public folder, which is important as manually dismounting from a drive or network share will help to ensure that all data has been saved to that drive before it is shut down. As the user in our example has read write access over the public folder, let's test that our permissions are working correctly by first creating a folder, renaming it, then deleting that folder from the network share. Let's dismount from the public folder and take a look at the second method that we can use to access the network shares on our NAS. If from the desktop we select Finder, we should be able to browse for devices on our network using the Finder window. However, you will need to ensure that the Finder window's sidebar is enabled. To enable sidebar from the Finder menu, you need to select View, Show Sidebar. Within the sidebar, you will find a grouping called Shared. When we select All, the devices that make up our network will be displayed, and you can see our Synology NAS. When we select our NAS from the list, because we are currently not connected, no network shares are displayed. If we select Connect As, we are once again shown the window asking us to enter the details for a valid user account. When we select connect, we're shown the username for the account that we used to connect to our network shares. We're also shown a list of all of the network shares created on our NAS. We can now test that the group permissions that we set for this user account 
are the correct permissions for these shares on our NAS. This second method for accessing network shares is far more intuitive, so it's more widely used. However, you may find that sometimes when trying to browse network shares from within the Finder window, your network shares are either not displayed or they do not respond as you expect them to. In these instances, as a workaround, you can simply default to using the Connect to Server option. So to recap, in this video we took a look at two methods that can be used to mount network shares on our NAS when working from an Apple Macintosh computer. In the next video in this series, we are going to take a look at three different methods that we can use on a Microsoft Windows computer to mount and test the network shares that we've created for our NAS.